in the question number 16 a block of mass n is kept over another block of mass 2m suppose this is 2m and this is n coefficient of friction between two blocks is mu okay this is mu that of between lower block and the horizontal surface is zero so there is no friction in the lower block horizontal force f4 by 3 mu mg is applied on the block of mass 2m acceleration of the lower block is okay this is the force according to the problem so pseudo force will act on the left hand side this is a pseudo force and friction will act on the right hand side because friction force will oppose the relative motion so this is mu and g this is the friction force now if i say mu and g is greater or equal okay pseudo force dono block ke motion ko disturb karega agar in dono block ko saath jana hai to friction force equal or greater hona chahiye pseudo force ke comparison mein so that is why i am saying mu and g greater or equal to pseudo then we'll move together but maximum force till both block will move together will be mu total mass 3m into g okay but applied force how much yahan pe jo applied force hai i am writing here applied force that is 4 by 3 mu mg so it is clear because this condition they will move together and applied force is 4 by 3 mu mg so we can say both block will move together okay so now i am going to write maximum force that is 4 by 3 as per the question mu mg and maximum force will be the total mass because m and 2m so this is 3m and acceleration a 4 by 3 mu and g this question may first you will check they will move together or not then will start so by this expression when i solve then acceleration will be 4 mu m g 3 into 3m and m will cancel so acceleration will be 4 by 9 mu g so this is the acceleration so now i can say my option number 4 will be the right choice so let's move on question number 17 in the question number 17 a ball of mass n means two massless string of equal length l connected to a vertical rotating rod the string are tied to the rod with a separation L. For what angular speed omega of the rod lower string just becomes taut? It means tension will become zero. On the other hand, you can understand. So if I make the diagram, this is angular velocity. Suppose this is mass M. According to the problem, this is L, this is L and separation itself L. So what will be the observation? The first observation is angle will be 60, angle will be 60, angle will be 60 because this is a equilateral triangle. So if tension T1 is here and tension T2 is here and this is a just a middle line for geometrical purpose. If I resolve the component of T1, so this angle will be 30 because total was 60. So I can write T1 sin 30 and another component t1 cos 30 similarly for t2 t2 sin 30 and t2 cos 30 so this is the free body diagram now if i go for this so i can write t1 sin 30 that is equal because m mass will be here so mg will act in downward so t1 sin 30 will be equal to mg plus because both are acting in same direction t2 
sin 30. But according to the question, for just dot t2, jaise dot ho jayega, so I can take t2 will be 0 as I said. So you will have only t1 sin 30 that is equal mg. So when you will calculate sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. So I have t1 equal 2 mg. So this is the value of t1. Now I am looking for the x axis along x axis. So I will write t1 cos 30 both are in same direction and plus t2 cos 30 that is equal because revolving so i need centrifugal force so m r omega square you know very well if i say this line having a length x so i can write here m r m x omega square as I said, T2 will be 0. So there is no need to write T2 cos 60. I have only T1 cos 30. That is equal M x omega square. And you know the value of x. So I need to calculate the value of x. How you will calculate? If I go on this triangle, this triangle. So this is x. If I use cos 30 cos 30 is equal to base means x upon hypotenuse that is L. So value of x is L cos 30. L cos 30 means root 3 by 2 L. So now you have the value of x. So I am going to use this m into the root 3 by 2 L into omega square. And the, you know the value of t1. That is 2mg as I solve in this 2mg. So when you will place 2mg into cos 30 root 3 by 2 mass into root 3 by 2 L omega square. So you can see 3 by 2, 3 by 2 mass, mass will cancel out. So on solving omega will be root 2g by L. So this is the angular velocity. This is how you can solve this question. So I can say my option number 2 will be the right choice. So let's move on question number 18. In the question number 18, a block of mass n is connected with another block of mass 2m kept on a rough horizontal table by means of an ideal spring of a spring constant k massless string okay in the figure the minimum coefficient of friction between the block of mass 2m and the table so that the block does not slide this is an important line when block of mass n is suddenly released okay in this question i would like to use the law of conservation of mechanical energy first so I need K1 plus P1 is equal to K2 P2. So initially both are at rest. So there is no kinetic energy plus potential energy in the case of a spring half Kx square and Mgx because X is the compression or expansion in the spring I am going to take. So this is the final potential energy but question says block does not slide. So there is no further kinetic energy, zero. So by this discussion, this is the initial kinetic, initial potential, final potential and final kinetic. So by this expression, half kx square, that is equal mgx. So by this x is equal, because x square x will cancel, x is equal to 2mg by k. Now, if I use the Newton law of motion in simple way, then I can write sigma f equal ma, right? So mg will act here, mg is acting in the downward direction, so tension will create. So T on the left hand side, but kx on the right hand side, that is equal mass into acceleration, but there is no acceleration as per the question, because condition was given, block does not slide, so there is no acceleration. So I can write T is equal to Kx. Now T 
t is k and i have the value of x for this so 2 mg upon k k k will cancel out so i have the value of tension t that is 2 mg if sliding is not there then i would like to repeat if sliding is not there then this is possible only if the maximum frictional force is greater or equal to the tension okay so maximum frictional force mu mg you can solve because mass is 2m so 2 mu mg and you know the value of tension that is 2 mg so 2 mg 2 mg will cancel out i have mu is greater or equal to 1 so by this calculation i can say minimum value will be 1 so by this discussion i can say my option number third will be the right choice so let's move on question number 19 in the question number 19 this is very interesting and good question so we'll see a disc is in pure rolling motion on a rough horizontal surface okay pure rolling is doing it enters into a frictionless horizontal surface what will happen so before going to read the option i would like to explain something disc is in pure rolling on a rough horizontal surface therefore friction is not acting on the disc therefore when it will go on a smooth surface there will be no change okay so now i am going to read the option the disc will rotate faster no the disc will translate faster no as i told you the disc will be in pure rolling motion without any change yes as per my discussion this is the right choice so i can say option number third will be the right choice so let's move on question number 20 in the question number 20 if angular velocity of particle position vector is given okay about the origin omega is given the magnitude of linear velocity in this type of question you need only the formula you have to very careful omega cross r so you will use the determinant method i cap j cap k cap so first you need the angular velocity vector 2 minus 2 minus 1 you need position vector 2 minus 2 plus 2 so when you will take determinant method and i know you can do it so you will get minus 6i minus 6j so when you will go the magnitude you will get 6 root 2 meter per second so i can say option number one will be the right choice so let's move on question number 21 